I want to talk to y'all man to man. It's nine o'clock in the morning right now and I woke up and I played beach volleyball with some grown ass men in Florida. Five things to know before accepting any invitation to beach volleyball. Five. Number one, they want you to take your shirt off. Now, is it completely necessary to take your shirt off to play beach volleyball? Absolutely not. Positively, no way indeed. But I seen three other men take their shirt off. So the first thing I did was take my shirt off. I am not built to have my shirt off in any situation outside where people or children can walk by and say, Mommy, look. Why does he have the same thing on your chest that you have, mommy? Shut up, Tyler. But mommy, why does he have a bra like you? Why does he just get a sports bra? I will punch you in your face, Tyler. To play beach volleyball, it requires a certain level of confidence that one must bring to the sand pit. And if you don't got to stay in your car, stay on the sideline, watch, chill, clap like this, clap with the back of your hand. But damn it, I am not taking my shirt off ever until I look like Will Smith and Ali. Number two. They expect you to dive in that dirt for balls. So a situation occurred where we were rallying back and forth. They was hitting it, we was hitting it. They was hitting it, we was hitting it. I was in the back part of the sand pit, which means the back to the middle was my zone. The ball came into the middle. Now, if I would have dove, I probably would have got my hand under it. Ball would have went back in the air and play would have continued. Only problem is I'm a grown ass man and I'm too big to dive down there in that dirt because if a dirt get in one of these orifices, it's going to change my body anatomy, my body chemistry, my body whatever. I'm not finna dive in no damn sandy pit dirt. I'm the wrong person to be out here playing this. If you think I'm finna dive in what SpongeBob under, not finna damn happen. Can you imagine me and my titties diving down there? I get up, I stand up, now I look like I got breast milk. Now you know. Next reason, Josh. Number three, if your partner is a black man with a shell necklace, hang it up, he gonna be too serious. Now, in my travels about comedy and things I've experienced, I've always noticed that my white friends are the most serious in obscure sports. So I walked out here, it was two white men and another black dude. I got on the black dude team, cause I was like, come on, brother, you know, we too cool to dive in the dirt. We ain't gonna be diving out here. We gonna let our white friends do it. Hell, now the dude with the shell necklace was yelling at me. His shorts was way too high. And he was saying, you gotta dive, you gotta go for it. You can't let this happen. Come on, be serious about it. Boy, if you don't get your fake ass beat volleyball, Michael Jordan having ass ball head ass out my face with that surf ninja necklace on, I know something, man. We in Florida, no one wear damn seashell necklaces. Hell, you from Jonathan Taylor Jenkins Thomas. Number four, Daisy Dukes for men are necessary. Me being the unathletic man that I am and trying to be cool, I came out here in some cotton shorts cotton shorts when you start to sweat by playing beach volleyball the sun will soak into your bottom and you will have swamp butt everything will stick to you remember when you was a child and you used to make a mother's day card you get a white piece of paper get some glue go outside get some dirt and rub it on the paper then go like this and then the message just show up that's me and my anus right now everything is sticking to the inside of me if you want to be athletically okay if you want to stand and fall off your body if you don't want everything to stick to you get you some hoochie daddy shorts get you those windbreaker materials that come right below your penis well i'm a black dude so they got to come right below my knee because if i don't then everything will be showing. What I'm saying is, get you them short shorts that the water and the sand fall off. Because if you don't, you're going to be stuck like Chuck. You're going to be driving with your butt clenched in the air because everything else is going to stick to your car seat. And number five, if you are not physically prepared to play till your body can't play no more, do not play. Beach volleyball is played to 21, at least the game I played today with these people out here, right? Beach volleyball is played the game of 21. We played one game, then we played two games. I was like, all right, fellas, it was nice playing with y'all. We got to do this again. They're like, where you going? We're going to play again. I ain't want to be no wimp. So I said, okay, you know what? We're going to play again. Let's do it. Let's get it back in, right? We played the third game. I was like, okay, fellas. They were like, now nah, let's play again. At about the seventh game, I was like, if y'all want to hold me hostage, just tell me now, damn it. Because I played a game of 21. I played pickup basketball. I understand 707 football, even baseball, boring ass, slow ass. Ass, slow pitching ass nine inning having worth a baseball even have an end to it this beach volleyball game lasted longer than an amber heard johnny depp trial man i don't even know why we was out here people started coming around us seeing us now i'm already embarrassed because i ain't got no shirt on my shorts are sticking to my thigh so only the lord knows what they see my boobs are bouncing around so i feel like i'm a part of baywatch i ain't diving on the sand so they calling me wuss they calling me out i'm giving up points that i could probably say but i'm too damn proud to dive down there then a the black dude with a turtle neck or the turtle shell neck is around his damn neck is yelling at me now my white friends over here, the new white friends I got looking at me like, y'all need to come down. No black on black crime, but it's about to be some dark skin on brown skin, light skin crime out here. If you don't stop talking to me like that. Beach volleyball is not for the weak. It's not for the wimps. It's not for those who want to go home.